it was really nice seeing him when that happened, but it was really hard knowing that he broke, literally broke, not fractured, a bone. Hey everybody, I broke my wrist, my radius, this bone right here. There's actually two bones there, but um, it's one of them. Um, and the top broke off. I was swinging on the swing, and I was gonna jump off, and I didn't, so I let go, and when I went back, I just flew off. This all happened at the park, but I have a tree house that has a swing set, so I can kind of explain how it happened. So this is the swing I'm gonna be showing you how it happened on. I'm not gonna go on it. This bat is gonna go on it. So this is me. I have I'm holding on to the, the swing, right? Woohoo! Swinging back and forth. Had no idea I was about to break my arm. About to jump off. Let go. Oh something's off, I'm not gonna jump off. Yeah! Explosion! So yeah, that's what happened. Don't do that. It really hurts. I remember like flying and then hitting the ground and then like hurting after that. And then I remember um, I drank a lot of water afterwards. I don't know if that's like a thing that you normally do, but I did it after I broke my bone. Um, I remember we got into the car and we just drove up to our house and got ice packs and then drove to the doctors and they had me x-rayed and they found out that I did break my arm and it was pretty bad and they had to put my bone, the two pieces back together. So they had to numb the area so they could put the bone back together. Um, so they took a needle with in, that had Novocaine inside of it and they put it in between the two broken pieces of my bone and put the Novocaine in. And then they took my hand, they brought me into a different room, took my hand, and he asked the nurse, have you ever been water skiing? And he was like, you do the same thing, except the handle is my, is my hand. So it was, she was holding onto my hands, like my hand like this one like that and like that and then the doctor pushed my two my broken bone back together which did not hurt as much as i thought it would be because of the novocaine that they inserted into me so then they put a cast on me and while i was getting my cast on my siblings called me and checked in and <laughs> um they were like just did anything happen i was like i'm fine i'm coming home soon, and then I forgot what happened. Oh, I had to get my x-ray again. I had to get another x-ray to see if everything was in place, so I had to get off the call. So then I took an x-ray with my cast on. So these are my x-rays. Um, as you can see right here, or wherever the arrow is, that's where my bone broke, and it's back to normal in that photo. So I took that x-ray and my bones were back together. It looks perfect and everything was okay. When we got home, my hand felt great. And then as the Novocaine started to wear off, it hurt more and more. So after that, I just rested my arm, had it elevated. I switched between Tylenol and Motrin off and on. And then the pain would go in like waves and sometimes it would hurt a lot, and other times it wouldn't hurt that much. It's feeling better now. Sometimes when, when I like accidentally move my wrist doing something that I'm normally used to doing with my wrist, but like since it's broken, it really hurts when I do it. I like sometimes get like stings, like it kind of stings for a second, and it goes back to normal, but it's getting better though. I want to tell you what I saw when Jacob broke his arm. I saw him I didn't think he was trying to jump. I think he slipped and tried to catch himself and he catched himself and he was up like this when he catched himself and then he came back down and he was still like 
partway through getting himself back on it, and that's when it dropped him. So it just dropped him at a very high height, and I think he just like tried to hold on to the, it was really scary, I, I didn't, and then he was like, help, get me some ice and stuff, and I was like, oh, cool. yeah, I'll get some ice. <laughs> and then he went to the hospital, and I was so curious about what was happening. And I was like, is he okay? What happened? Is he okay? Can I text my mom? Can I FaceTime my mom? And then Bailey finally FaceTimed my mom. And that was right when he was getting his cast. And then the doctor came in, so we had to leave. But it was really nice seeing him when that happened. But it was really hard knowing that he broke, literally broke, not fractured, a bone. My money don't jiggle, jiggle. The money don't jiggle, jiggle. It falls. I like to see it go, go, for sure. Oh, dribble, dribble. You know. I forgot that part. Um, and then it's six feet two and a compact, no slack. I learned this at Great Wolf Lodge, and so I still don't know it. But, and then it, they turn around and then they go. Ta -da. So we have this plan to go to this family camp for like two years now. It's, it, we used to do it before COVID every single year and then COVID happened, we stopped for two years. But now we're going back and I'm really excited. I broke my arm like a week before we have to go. So it's feeling better now which is great. I can move it more and it doesn't hurt as bad, but I can't go to like the pool or the creek. The reason I can't go into water is because it's got padding inside and that padding won't dry. Um, it'll rub against my skin and give me rashes and also the, the padding will deteriorate and it'll just be my cast, it'll just be the hard part and that, that's not it won't work as a cast properly. So I can't go into any of the creeks or the pool that they have there, which is fine. Um, or the slip and slide, they have a slip and slide day, but it's, it's fine. I'll just watch, which is still fun. So my dad got me this special like rubber bag thing that goes around my cast to protect it from the water. We tested it out, it works. So I might use that um, at the family camp for some of the water activities, but not not the pool. I wouldn't want it. Be, I think there might be a chance that the pool just it has a lot of water. I don't want to get it wet at all. And there's some really fun things that I'm looking forward to, and I have been looking forward to for since the beginning of the time we went to camp. So there's a ropes course there that's for ages 10 and up. And the last time we went to this family camp, I was nine years old, and that was before COVID. So I was nine years old, and I was really excited for the next year to go on this big rope squish, right? But then COVID happened, and I had to wait two extra years before going again. It might be extra hard with my cast, but I'm gonna see how it feels the day that it happened. And then there's a zipline course, which is also really cool. And I've seen videos of like my sister doing it. I watched her do it. It looks super fun. It's just a lot of giant zip lines, which is awesome. I am definitely gonna be able to do that. Overall, I'm feeling much better now and I am really excited to go to the family camp. And I do not recommend falling off the swings. Try and avoid that. Bye. <laughs>